So usually the inner cover keeps us from being stuck. Just gotta be careful we're not too rough. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take the whole upper box because I have a feeling there's not many bees in here. Because I'm worried that we're gonna crush the bottom boxes trying to do. <sighs> okay, new plan. No, top's gotta come off. So that most likely, I'm gonna yeah, try to pry this way, this direction, if you can. Yeah, just pull up this way. We're gonna try to go right. Just trying to push down. All right. Yes. Okay. Wow. That is not what I expected, but that's great. It's a healthy hive. So this is propolis. The glue here, that's all propolis. Um, yeah, that's really good that they're up here. And there's even fresh wax up here. So there is a flow on and they're capitalizing on. So this is why it was really stuck. Usually they glue the edges down. Mm -hmm. That's propolis too. They glue the whole top down. See, there's some dead bees in there too. And dead bees happen. So every, they can lay up to a thousand eggs every day this time of year. So <clears throat> that is impressive. I cannot believe they had that. Um, so usually what I do is I get to the bottom box and then I start my inspection. That way you're not, when you smoke them, they go down. Then there's too many in there. There's no way we're gonna be able to do that. You saw how hard it was just to get the lid off. Each of these frames is gonna be glued in. So we have to go through each frame, unglue them, hopefully transfer them to one of your new boxes, whichever one you think is in the best condition. Uh, assuming that they're not stuck together or not broken and all that stuff. But gotcha. so far so good. And see the little web there? It's either a spider or it could be a wax moth. Say, wax it moth looks sometimes. like there's a some kind of a stink beetle or something. Yeah. And a lot of times okay. you can just scrape this stuff. Either if it's really cold, it comes off, or if it's really warm, it's very malleable. Let's see if we can. Good. The inner cover seems to be in a decent situation. Does it have a notch here? It's nope. solid. Okay. Solid. Good to know. There's a bit of a gap here, though, if you need that. I think I can get it, but I may need to use all the corners. Wow. So this hive has not been opened in potentially 17 years. And they're thriving this well. This is not 17, seven, seven years, 2006, 2016, 16. Got it. Got it. Got it. I was thinking 2006. Okay. So seven years, but still that's quite a bit of time. Yeah. Uh, if you want to, you can grab that hive tool there and you can help me pry a little bit. Just work your way along the edge. Sure thing. So this edge, you don't want to pry on that one too much because it's less wood. You really want to try to work on the corner and then work your way along the side. So if you keep working on that side, I'll work over to this side. And you can keep lifting on the lid too. If, if you feel it starting to go, just let me know. We'll give it a lift. I have a feeling the center is probably stuck. Oh, we're getting a little action here. And as, it, as we pop it, it may irritate them a little bit. So then we'll just take a second and smoke them. Ooh. All right, so this, this is up. promising. Yeah, this is. Okay, I'm gonna give them a little smoke. And typically you don't wanna walk in front of the hive when you're doing an inspection. Smart. Um, and you'll notice, you'll, you'll actually create a traffic jam because all of the foragers will be coming in and they won't recognize the entrance because you're in the way. And then they'll have to, they'll just wait for a little bit before they get in. So this seems like it's okay. It's this middle piece. And all the frames are staying down. I'm just gonna move slow. I feel it breaking. There we go. Oh my gosh. I just saw honey pour out of the top of this. <laughs> Uh, yep. All right, so if you want to, you can take your hive tool and dip it in there and taste it through the veil because uh, we're not going to be able to give that back to them. So. I'm nervous about that. No. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, you just do a little scoop and then taste it. That is incredible. That's got a really strong honey aftertaste. That's cool. Now, anytime I drink through there, I'm going to get that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. And these girls are very calm. That's that's great. Uh, you have some good genetics here. Um, usually, I put this near the front of the hive. So, and so is this all wax? Yes, sir. The outside edge is propolis. Is there a way to like, save that? Yes, absolutely, it? absolutely. We're gonna save every bit that we can. But what we're gonna do first is again, we're gonna try to get this stuff into new equipment, and then all of this we're gonna take off and try to salvage as much as we can. That inner cover seems fine. We'll be able to salvage that no problem. So the hard stuff is this glue. It's going to be really hard to get out. So, all right, so typically, what you mean to do? typically what I do is I will push a frame to the side and hopefully this opens up. We don't break anything. I don't think it does this there. It's going to do that. does not want to. Oh, this one's opening. That's good news. If we can get these to open enough. Wow, that's a lot on there. Yeah, you can uh, actually cut some of that if you want. So this is uh, the hive tool here. This, let me show you this one. 
This one you'd want to use it this way, more mm -hmm. like a pry bar. Mm -hmm. So, and you typically don't want to pry on the edge of the box because you're going to go on your joints. You want to pry against each other frames. You need to push it that way or that way. And all we're doing to do is open a small gap. If we can open a small gap, this tool lifts straight up. And we just hope that it's not stuck on the bottom so much that we break the frame. So right now everything is kosher, but as soon as we start opening these, so this, this actually slips down and can pull it straight up. So it's always the hard, the first frame is always the hardest to get out. I got this one wiggling, but. Okay. I feel like that one's moving, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and just be careful not to push down too hard because mm -hmm. the boxes underneath they're not structurally sound so you can go ahead and start working on just trying to get some of this propolis off just slide the tool across there okay trying to cut yourself and then all of the propolis is like glue you can use this for tinctures and stuff i have never done it i have saved some but you don't want to put it somewhere where it can get on your shoes because it'll be there forever <laughs> so that's what this pan's for and if we can just try to keep um the propolis to one side and then we'll try to we can pick it out later, but try to put the propolis on one side and then we'll put the, uh, I don't want to put that right in front of their thing. Here, we can put it on the side. Over there. I can probably toss so it So propolis on one side and... And, and then the wax towards the other side, just in case we, we want to try to save that wax and melt it down. We do want to save everything that they make, so. Just like you bought that wax, if there's any extra wax in here, you melt it down, you can put it on your frames, so. Oh, this is cool. They're just they're going at it. Yep. They're just cleaning up their work. So these girls don't care right now. They're like, oh crap, I got to, I got to harvest as much of this as I can so the good thing is they're in a flow wow dude you've got capped honey in this thing like mad so hopefully we can get these transferred over and we may probably need to go ahead and put that second super on mm -hmm. let them clean this up and let them start building out that next one for you you can use your body too. just try to grab the other side of the hives so we're not Tweaking too much. Wow, that's impressive. Excuse me, girl. And any any bees that you want to move, if you don't have your tool, you just touch them, and then they move. So, <laughs> it's poking the butt. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, once they feel any pressure, they, they move. Now, if you pinch your fingers in between there, then they'll, then they'll sting you. But come on, buddy. I don't want to. I don't want to cut your. You head. can blow on them too. There we go. Sometimes they don't like the CO2 and it'll agitate them, but that gets them out of the way. Uh, so it I'm depends just... on what kind of mood they're in. It, they're always different on different days. So things that I'm telling you work some days and sometimes they're just like, no, I don't want you in here at all. They keep poking their heads up and I'm trying to cut this part off and I don't want to, you know, cut uh, their gotcha. heads up too. Oh, we can smoke them down. Yeah, sometimes when they come out like that, that's, that's what we do. Smoke them down. So these little cavities here mm -hmm. probably had small hive beetles or something in them, and they just make a little jail, and then they starve to death and die. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's More how they manage enough. things. Oh. Oh. This super actually looks like it may be in decent shape as far as being able to reuse it. Mm -hmm. um, Is it okay to have two colors on a, on a hive? Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. So most of mine are the same color, and what I did is I used painter's tape to create different patterns on the front. That way I, because I didn't want to buy multiple paint colors, but I buy it by the gallon and I roll it on, so I do not have your skills, that's for sure. <laughs> but no, it, it doesn't matter too much. And actually sometimes the pattern is nice because they recognize the pattern, not just a singular color. Yeah, I, I heard that too, but I'd already bought the paint, so. No, I think it, I think it looks good. I think it'd be a nice aesthetic aesthetic to kind of keep it the same color. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people paint their hive bodies a different color than the honey supers. It's just paint. You're protecting the wood. You're protecting your investment. That is just so cool. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take, take a picture of that. Yeah, so. yeah, take your time, man. This is the experience. I am surprised that they are so calm right now, but we're not in the brood chamber yet. <laughs> yeah, some of that wax is kind of brittle, so it's been there a while. Yeah, so you see the white cappings up here? That's all filled with honey. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Try, girls. So, 
We have a, sorry, my morning alarm. Uh, <laughs> we have a student here who is an entomologist. Nice. Um, and she, she doesn't study bees, but she does find the beehive really cool. She comes up here and she's one of the first people, you know, that I uh, brought up here that actually went in front of the hive and started taking pictures. Because yeah. She was just completely unafraid of them. Yeah, you got people understand them. They're they're totally fine now. Yeah, they're, I think if I can get good enough at this to where I can train somebody, she would love to. Great. Be a part of this. Good deal. Yeah, and I, I don't mind training people. I just sometimes uh, in the mentor positions, people are just like, uh, we want you to manage six hives. Just tell us how to do it. No, actually, you do it. So. I, I, just always I'm, leaving the option there, but yeah, since you guys, yeah, you guys have, you guys are in part of this department. I'd rather set you guys up for success. Again, I'd rather you guys be up here managing these hives mm -hmm. than kind of letting them fall in disrepair. But they seem to take care of themselves. But that's great how many bees you have in here. Um, it, it may even be poten a potential that we could make a split um, on our next inspection. Mm -hmm. So then we could make this into two hives. So you wouldn't have to pay for them. You would just split them. So, How much were you charging again? For your uh, I was going to give them to you for... Um, gotcha. But it's it's up to you. Uh, I have them if you need them. And if not, then... <coughs> now, well, I mean, so I was super excited before, but now that the budget's out, the time is really the more important factor. Yes. Yeah, that is, um, that is a thing. And I have some nukes now that I'm going to have to push into 10 frame boxes so I could potentially sell you something that's that's more, more than five frames. So, um, let me get that over here. Grab that hive. Actually, no, we're putting these all in new boxes, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So oh. this is just a lever mechanism. Now, the thing that you got to worry about here is those side rails that you put on. Yeah. Um, to make sure they don't one. come off. Because if they slide off, then all you have is the top bar and a whole bunch of comb. So that's why sometimes that you put nails and staples through that side face. Yep. Just as a backup, but hopefully the, the comb is good enough. And these are man lakes and they're already stapled, so. And the first one's usually the hardest one to get out, and then everything usually goes pretty quick after that. Right. For each box that is. Alright, picture time. Oh wow, yes. So you will be harvesting honey this year, it looks like. That's incredible. That you can harvest that right now. That's hundred percent capped. And there's your, so that's a drone right there, the bigger guys. They usually have a rounded butt because they're they're phallus. Yeah. They're yeah. If you, we see it, I definitely want to figure out what, how the queen looks. Yeah. Right absolutely. Them. All right, so we need to move this over. Um, let's go ahead and put the medium on the bottom board for now, just so that we can kind of, if they go somewhere, it's going to be their new home. Uh, this the medium one, the one that you just th threw the queen excluder on. Oh. My yeah. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. Sorry, that's a honey super, also called a medium. It's not a deep. So these are medium frames. And the good thing is there's not a ton on the bottom. So typically what you would do on future inspections, we would clean these bottoms off. Since we're just doing the, the transfer, it's not that big a deal right now. And then these shoulders, oops, sorry girls. Usually you want to try to clean those off. We won't focus on that today. There you go, ladies. Yeah. yeah and, and then again you can pry with the uh, leverage on, on this end mm -hmm. yep there you go and then just twist this part of the tool towards me there you go yeah use that leverage if you can slide it out oh it's starting to pop here so do you have a piece that can fit in that little uh, is it the box that's popping out it's um this little wood piece the uh this piece right here the part of the frame oh, sorry girl oh sorry girl it's going to happen. See how it's separating right there? So maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, try to get, that, try to get that and shove it right against the box, like right there. Yours is a sharper tool. And just give it a good push down. Ooh, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. propolis hesitate. You want to take this one out? It's up to yeah. you. Definitely. Okay. Just grab it. Yep, yep, that's why I usually grab the shoulders right there and then pinch as hard as you can. When I'm done, I, st I stick my middle fingers underneath it may be stuck it's to the stuck, bottom. Yeah. It's going to be stuck to the bottom. So let's try to get this one closer. Wow, that is really it's stuck. Actually, I can probably get it from yeah. this edge. Do you want to do it? Yeah, Go ahead. Please. You can just set that down here, and then we can swap back and forth. Works. Good deal. And pinch that one, then you can do the same over here. Or this one may come right out. Once you get that one, usually it breaks this side free. So 
Uh, and you can actually lift with that tool too. Yeah, thank you. And remember, these are those are right here too, so we can always set them there. Yeah, that's 100% capped. Hard. So that honey is dripping off the bottom. You can taste that too if you wanted to. That one will need to stay on the outside because they've drawn it a little wider. Okay. And we'll just try to keep everything in the same orientation that they had. Okay. And then we'll worry about cleaning stuff up on this next inspection, unless we find a real mess. But this is a reason too you want to try to use plastic foundation because they typically. Yeah, help you. Sometimes those, those gloves, I'll set it down for you. Oh no, I murdered one. It's okay. Again, they lay a thousand a day. That means a thousand die usually a day from natural causes. So if we kill a few, we're still bettering their odds of survival. So still a murderer. Yeah, it's <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, you're good. You'll get over that. Okay. And then we'll just do it enough to crack it. And then you can lift with this thing. Oh. It's all you. Sweet. And I'll, I can do the cracking part on the next ones. So this medium is fine. So each of those uh, frames is probably about um, eight pounds of honey, five to eight pounds of honey. And if they're capped, they're ready to harvest. So that's cool. You got 10, you got, you potentially have between 50 and 80 pounds of honey right now. But since we're doing all this, would this be a bad time to, you know, uh, try, to try to get honey from them? Um, oh. Uh, I harvest Memorial Day, so, so this inspection, all we're doing is transferring. If you wanted to harvest, it would you, you could do it next on our next inspections. Um, wow, well, look at all that honey in between there. So the little gaps between the frames make it easy to inspect, but they like to cover it up and make it into a bridge so it's one continuous hive. Uh, so no, I wouldn't harvest today. I mean, you could always pull a frame out if you wanted to do one frame. Mm -hmm. Um, I think if we, if you want to harvest, that decision needs to be made after we get everything out of this box because we don't know what we're running into in the bottom. They may have all moved up, but seeing that this is all capped honey, I mean, that, that's pretty much ready to harvest. So you'll start seeing a lot of these other bees just kind of flying around a little bit. We got to be careful that we don't get into a situation where we have robber bees from other hives coming up here. Um, not much we can do about it besides just cover that top and that's what we'll do with that inner cover if we and need Robert, to. Robert bees are just, you know. Bees from other hives that are yeah. trying to get that honey. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, and I think this medium could be easily be reused. Um, careful there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think they'd be able to be reused. If you want to paint it, you could paint it. Um, this one's already painted. You may want to just, if we can, reuse this one. And then you can repaint that other one, and then once that one's repainted, then we can swap them out. Again, this process that you're doing right now, swapping equipment, you can do that any time that you want to. So okay. um, don't feel so bad if something's not perfectly painted. You can just do it on your next inspection. Well, when you say any time you want to... Um... During your inspection. So like, if our next inspection you want to entirely change to entirely different equipment, go for it. Um, usually I take out a frame at a time, so I don't disrupt them a lot. but. I don't think you're gonna have any issues here. Every time you get them, people say that sets them back a little bit because you know you're taking some of their comb down. But uh, these girls probably need to be set back. <laughs> Look at how strong they are. It's <laughs> yeah. incredible. I do see some uh, drone larvae in there. So these are the larvae of the drone. And this just kind of happens. Oh, so cool. they draw they draw that out between there because of the. Typically, this is made for uh, worker size foundation, but when they get the purple eye stage, they're just about to develop their wing buds, um, and they're probably about a week from hatching. So is this one saveable? No, he's gone. Uh, so bees are like, they're insects, of course you know that. Uh, when they're inside of that, they're in a pupa case. So it's like a little cocoon. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you break that open, the humidity and temperature is all gone, but again, you're not losing much by losing some of the, the boys. Um, it's the females that you typically don't want to lose, but they're usually within the frames, not in different spots. All right, girls. All right. They're starting to get a little cold draft, so they're, you can so hear, hear them buzzing a little bit. I'm noticing that. Looks like we're not gonna have enough room for all 
three of those. Do I need to start pushing these in, in this way? Uh, if you want to, you can. Um, at some point, we may want to uh, try to scrape off some of that comb on the top of the frames as well, but we don't have to do that at this moment, but totally up to you. I just want to make sure I don't crush any unnecessarily. Yeah. So you want to try to move them all at once if you don't want to crush them unnecessarily. Okay. So where you're going to crush them is this interface right here. But if you just try to slide everything, you can hold this out of the box or, yeah, then you have one opportunity. So that's what, when I put them back, I try my best to set the next one right next to it. Gotcha. And then, then I push them over at the end. And I'll share some of those nuances with you when we do an inspection that's not really a... Rehab. Yeah. Yeah, whatever we want to call this. <laughs> yeah, this is all capped honey. So we'll put this at the very top. They'll protect it. And then we'll put an empty one below it. They'll start building the comb out and then hopefully get you even more honey. This is great. This is incredible. And they drew that one out so wide that the next one was, they couldn't even draw the frame out. It's actually so thin there they couldn't put nectar in there because that one was so wide. <laughs> Sometimes if you have new equipment, you can do manip manipulations so that you don't have stuff like that. But we just need to keep that frame next to that frame and we should be fine. Whenever you harvest the honey, it'll it'll slice the face off too, and then they'll rebuild it straight the next time. Yeah, man. That is so cool. Looking good. Same thing here. They drew that one out so fat that it... Oof, it's a lot of propolis. Just be careful on the prying or cutting. Got that one. That side? Yeah. Perfect. Should be good. And again, we'll salvage this box for sure. It must have been underneath the the, the top enough. Try that. That may be still really tight, but be careful when you go down sorry, and these girls are just gonna roll off and that's fine just be careful when we do that we wouldn't want to do that with the queen um, so when you're right about there hang on one second you can actually use the frame for leverage and push it that way and it pushes the rest of the frames oh, cool. um, you don't want to rack the frames too much but when you get in a situation like this it's I think you pull up on that side a little bit there. Girls. So the next inspection, you probably want to get this propolis off so we don't have to get in. And that's that, like we were talking about the millimeters that add up. Yep. That's exactly what happened right there. And then you just, so you can pry on the edge. You don't want to do it much unless you got a newer box. And then we'll get this one back off the wall. You just kind of want that gap to be about the same. Wow, not much of a gap, huh? So. Now the concern is robbing. So I'm gonna set this on top just to close it up so no other bees are attempting to get in here. And then they can at least protect that if they need to. All right, so don't worry about that yet. We can do that when it's off. Let's work on prying this one off without trying to crush this box. Um, again, try to get your tool in as far as you can and then give it a good pry. It's coming. All right, I'm prying up on this side. There we go. And then if you want to, you can just shake them in front of that hive. Shake them? Uh, just shake the, there's a little few bees in there, or you can just set it down. They'll probably fly back. There you go. And just set that off to the side and we'll, uh, we can clean that one and potentially revamp that one. Let's go ahead and work on this one next. Do you want that? Were you hanging on to that? Or are you taking a picture of that? Uh, I can take, I'm gonna hang on to them. I wanna give them to uh, I'm going to put this inner cover there just as a little temporary stand and we're going to move the next box over this way. Usually you kind of just keep stacking but I don't know what is stable and what is secure and what we're getting into. So, so typically you'll set it off like that and then you'll just set this off just at an angle to make sure all four corners are touching and then there's smaller openings for them to potentially protect. So let me give them a little smoke. We've got them pretty opened up here. All right, again, the hardest one is the first one. Is this one 
This one seems structurally not too bad. Uh, well, this on side this doesn't side, look good. I, I, I could poke a hole through it, I'm certain. If I okay. Could. If it wasn't for the, the, the problems and um, everything that's inside there, that I one. could probably just poke a hole through that. Let's attempt to pry against the frames then here. Yeah, this is this is dry rock. I'm trying to figure out which, which one. Where are you going? Uh, I'm just trying to find one that I can break a uh, break apart. This one's moving. This one's moving. If you can help me, either put the tool in there and just sort of press okay. straight down, or use the other end and do the ratcheting or the leverage. Yeah, always. Use, yeah, if you can use that side, it'll give you a lot more leverage. I got enough movement over here, I may be able to do it. I'm gonna start taking the propolis off the edges. Oh, I busted the honey cam. Yeah, that's what all this is. <laughs> so don't worry about it too much. Don't worry about it too much. They'll fix it by the time the day is done. So if you can take any of the propolis, I'm not sure if you have much on that, so yeah, you do. Yeah, just take it off the top edge of that frame. There we go. Sorry, looks like sounds like some kids having fun. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Let's see if we can get that one going. This kind of is just a feel thing. You can tell if something's breaking or if it's not. Slow, steady leverage. I was gonna say, could you use the? I think I got this side loose enough for that. Yeah, let's do that then. There we go. There's another drone right there. He's not quite to the purple eye stage. His wings are? No. So when you check in here, there's something called a Varroa mite. If you see a little red mite on this thing, it means the hive could have Varroa mites. This one does not. But they also run really quick. It's incredible. And you may see some of those thrown out of the hive after we do this inspection. That right there is probably a queen cell that hatched. It's the bottom of something. So we really want to get this stuff off the top. Um, I'm going to start working on this. If you, you have any luck coming uh, up? Not yet. But I got a lot of bee friends now. Yeah. Come on now. Now I got your job. I got my job. Just stay out of the way. Yeah, it's moving a little bit. All right, girls. Enjoy. Yeah, so if, if we don't clean this off and we put another box on top of it, it could smash bees in here. So it's best to try to keep <coughs> these clean. It makes the inspections go a lot smoother, too. There's and you're just putting it in here? I'm just dropping it in there. And if we need to, we can leave it out here so they can uh, rob it out. We just don't want it to be anywhere near this hive. All that honey. You just take that whole piece right there and eat it. Alright girls, let's do this a little quicker. Is that one coming up or is it still um, struggling? I got this side but I can't get that side. Gotcha. What about the one next to it? Can you loosen the one next to it at all? Maybe got that one loosened? coming loose. I don't want to put too much full pressure on that. Okay. Um, you want this? Yeah, let me see if I can pry it this way first. We've got some distance over here. Got distance on that one. Got distance on that one. Yeah, this one should be able to be pried up on the end now. Two or three. This number, number two? Two or three, yeah. Both of those should come up now. I would hope. Oh, girls. I'm sorry. Oh, man. There we go. 
Oh. Have to wiggle it up, I guess, but it's working. Again, this is worst case scenario. Um, sometimes if you don't inspect, like I didn't inspect from October till about March um, because of the weather and stuff, um, you'll run into stuff sort of like this, not nearly like this though. That's why it's important to do your inspections and clean off this extra. Cool. All right, what box are you going to? Uh, the one behind you, one to your right. Yep. And then we'll just, again, we'll try to keep them in a similar order. So once we get that one out, I'll just leave a little gap so we can get the next one in next to it. Actually, before you take that, let me go ahead and scrape the top of that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, girls. Come on, girls. Okay, go for it. Again, I prefer to be a little calmer with these girls, but I don't want the robbing situation to happen either. This is good though, we're already in the second box. Ooh, oop, yeah, got a little bridge comb there, that's okay, that happens. My hands are just covered in honey now. You're doing good, ma'am. For sure. This is fun. I appreciate it. Enjoying this a lot. Good. Yeah, it's very calming. Especially when you hear the buzz and they're just... You realize that they don't care about you. <laughs> they're just like, I'm just doing my business here. Some days they care about you, but... I'm glad today's not one of those. Probably got honey, honey raining down on them too, so. Oh wow, that's tight. If you, yeah, if you wanna work on this frame, I'll work on trying to get that outside frame loose. Wow. Oh, you're good. Starting to get in the brood chamber, they'll, they'll get a little more antsy. But sorry, see. Uh, once we get to the brood chamber uh, where the babies are and stuff, they, they could get a little more antsy, but we should be okay. Yeah, you're eating the honey now, aren't you? All right. So I just smelled uh, like a lemon taffy type smell. Yeah. I'm not sure if you smell that or not, but uh, that is the um, alarm pheromone. So their attitude will change a little bit now. They'll be, a, they'll be a little closer more to the boss fight. Got it. Yeah. See if I can get this one. Come on, don't break the box. Well, I guess the box is already toast, isn't it? Yeah. Is it no, the front it, or is it the bottom? Is the um, bottom you can always it, chop it? Everything from here over to here is gone. So potentially, these two sides. you could chop this down and make it into a medium. But it depends on how deep the rod is. <laughs> Oh, uh, the rot, no, the rot's all the way through almost. Oh, okay, gotcha, It's gotcha. all the way to the top here. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, you can probably get both of those out now. Probably, I say. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that sounds like something rotten somewhere. I guess one of these has the whole side open, doesn't it? All right. Hang on. Let me, what's on the outside? You see? These. Okay, it's all nectar. Okay, you're good. We're good. I'm just what seeing if we're getting to the uh, brood, eggs. We just got to be careful when we get to that point because we need to keep an eye out for the queen and make sure we don't hurt, harm her. Oh, I got this. Scrape it out. Scrape it out. Uh, yep, see that? That's your stinger. I'm just slide it out. Oh, I'm not doing very good. Here, just use your hive tool and slide it out. You want to slide it? No way. Yeah, I got honey all over everything. Yeah, just pinch it out and just take it. Pull this way. Okay, you're good. 
No, we want to put a little smoke on that. Do you want to take a break? You can take a break too, yeah. It just feels like something really hot on you. Here, I'll, let me smoke it so that, because that'll have alarm pheromone on it. I'm gonna try to go that back to that. Nice, <laughs> Alright, long sleeve shirt next time. Yeah, or if you can find the suit, it's it's nice. Yeah. Like I said, once you smell that smell, then they're gonna be more defensive. So, a lot of these bees may have been uh, worker bees that were just doing stuff. Now we're getting down to potentially guard bees and stuff. Wow, these are. I can barely even pick anything up. It's so slippery. You okay? Yeah, no, it just burns. It's been yeah. A while since I've been stung. It's like a hot needle, right? Yeah. No, I'm good. You want to do the next one, or? Yeah, let me adjust this real quick. That's what I was doing before. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. Your attitude changed towards the bees. Real quick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. No, I understand. I understand. It's. No, I just don't. I, I'm okay getting stung again. I just don't want to get stung again right now. I yeah, I know. Like at I least hear two you. Minutes. I hear you. All right, ready? <laughs> yep. If you can get it, I, my fingers are just too slippery to pick it up now. <clears throat> and make sure it's capped honey. Is it capped honey on that side too? Yeah, yeah, you're good. So as you get to the center, typically is when you're starting to get to um, the brood chamber. And since we're seeing capped drones here, it's probably a good indication. All right. Yeah, no. If you hit me all at once, I'm just getting a little. Yeah. I'm getting anxious more or less. So than anything. it's not. These yeah. will be defensive, and they may hit you. Oh, if, they, get they get you again. Yeah. All right. Let's take a break for a second. I need to swap gloves too. I can't feel anything. Where'd you get hit? Back arm. Back arm. Uh, oh. I just put that on the roof. Mine's got a guard on the bottom though, so. I don't know if you see anything. Yep, see it. They're barbed, so. Did you get it? Yeah. <sighs> Got it. I'm going to swap gloves because I can't. Uh, it's got a guard on it, but I don't want to take a chance there. I've yeah. got a jacket downstairs. May not be a bad <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on moving. Okay. That won't be too long. Yeah, these are nasty. Sorry, girls. Don't mean to upset you, just gotta keep moving. Let's see if I can use the frame grip here. So we had an old queen cell up here. There's another old one here. Let me tear those down. It's a good cat brew, but it's all backfilled. And there's honey. A lot of honey. Nectar. Cat brewed and backfilled. A couple open spots, but I don't not do not see a queen. And these queen cells are so old. Just hoping for eggs, but they're so backfilled I don't see anything.
high up tool. Oops. They're not going like that. Yeah. I think this is round three, isn't it? I guess so. <laughs> Do you have the other hive tool? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you're good. I couldn't get that one out. I was like, I cannot get it out. I tried to use my other tool and all that stuff. Push it back that way so you can leverage. There you go. Uh, I will mention uh, whatever clothes you typically wear, mm -hmm. you may want to launder them separately and last um, and allow your washer and dryer to air out because sometimes if there's stingers in it you can get a really mild let's go slow here because we got cat brood let me grab that one okay got it i got it got cat brood all right girl i feel you i feel you you don't need to sting me though you don't have to yeah she's trying fingers not in there so this is cat brood this lighter color, mm -hmm. this is capped honey. All that's nectar. Um, the bottom edge of this shows me that there was tons of queen cells throughout the years, but there are. Usually you'll have uh, several per each swarm. Um, what we're aiming to see is young larvae um, and eggs. Well, we're still in the upper brood box. Capped honey, capped brood, and nectar. Is that another log right at the bottom? Yeah, that would have been one that was split from the other box. So, a lot of times you'll clean the bottoms of the frames too. But if we can get to cleaning the tops of the frames, we can do the bottoms next time. But that way it'll limit smashing and stuff. Yeah, and if they're around you a lot, just let me know. You can smoke yourself too. Um, it just keeps them away. Tries to calm them down. So we got a lot of bearding on the front too. Yeah, no. it's just as they're coming back, they're like, "Hey, hang on, there's not as much room in my hive anymore." Get that one. I didn't get much of a Go fry on that one yet. There you go. Perfect. You got her. You want me to get it? Now I do have a, a frame holder. This is a different style. You had it one as well. Um, uh, Sometimes if it, it's really wide, it, it can crush stuff. So, yeah. but I, I think if these were less capped or less covered, maybe that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Yep. So it's getting lighter. So. So what am I looking for? This is all nectar. Um, the brood, brood over here. Mm -hmm. um, what's what's going on with this side? Point to it. That's honey. It's just a little shallower because there's probably one that's built out. Yeah, this side's built out a little wider than it. Nectar and honey. I don't see a queen or anything on here, and you typically won't. You'll try to, she'll mostly be around brood or open cells, and they're backfilling everything. So, your potential honey harvest is getting put into your brood chamber, which means they could potentially swarm, which they have probably swarmed a, a ton of times in the past already. So. 
Yeah, I got to pry on that. There he goes. That side already come apart? Uh, not really. Oh, there we go. Sorry, can we do good? Can we do good? As you get further into it, you won't have to use as much smoke, but this is this is a pretty unique situation. Mm -hmm. Alright, did you want to take this one too? Yeah. Alright. Ready when you are? Got it. All nectar. Um, so yeah. Oops, sorry, girl. So there was cat brood here. You can see it is there, and then they backfilled all of it. Uh, this in here is bee bread. So it's pollen, a mixture of pollen and nectar. So pollen's usually dry. If it looks wet like that, it's bee bread, which means they mix it together to make uh, food for the brood. And when they mix it, it ferments, and then it lasts for a very long time. That's cool. It's hence the bee bread part. Yep. The bread. And then nectar and honey, a little bit of pollen. So again, you got bee bread. Oops, sorry, girls. And typically you have this, see right here, a little ring of it. Usually you have that, and then there's brood in here, but they've backfilled everything. Uh, they didn't have enough so, uh, space. What do you mean so, the backfill? Um, typically they leave this open and she'll keep laying in it. And then she'll lay in the middle and then work her way out. And as it hatches, she'll go back and lay it again. You can pull that off if you want. And so on and so on. What they did is, instead of her going back, they went back and filled all of the brood chamber so she can't lay in there anymore, which is going to make her want to swarm. So, a bit of a concern. But if we put a super on there, we hope that they build it out and move all this up. That's the hopes. Uh, oops, I got one. I heard her. I hate that crunch sound. And then sometimes, see how they're in there? Right in the middle there? Mm -hmm. If you press on them, just like I said with your fingers, you press on them, they get out of the way. So that's why I bump it a couple times there. Uh, at this point, I probably wouldn't blow on them. Okay. Because of that. Well, they're irritated at this point. Sometimes it irritates them a little bit. Sometimes if you're holding just a frame, it's okay. Uh, smoking is probably what we needed to get, get them down um, at this point since they're agitated. Of course, we have half their hive torn apart too, so I'd be pissed off as well. That was a fair point. But, I mean, we've gone through 10. We're about to be through eight. And then we just got the bottom ones to go with all the crank girls. It only gets better from here, Mike. <laughs> this is it, man. Oh my. There we go. Get it? Yep, I got it. Do you want to see this? Yeah. Got cat brood over here. Got it? Got it. Yep. So, see the cat brood? Mm -hmm. That's the centerpiece. And again, they're backfilling it hard. So, and you see how white on here? Mm -hmm. so people call that icing, but that just means there's a nectar flow and they're wanting to build out comb. Um, they don't have a place to put it, though. You can always step back if you need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get out of my own head because, like, my issue right now is not that I'm actually scared or anything. It's just like I got stung twice. Now every little thing just makes oh, yeah. me feel weird. Yeah, when they're on my fingers, it, it freaks me out. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's what it was. Like they, yeah. they were going between my fingers. And they were yes. Things. Yeah. You can oh, always. By the way, one of the bees made it down with me. Oh no! My shirt. Oops. Yeah, like, it didn't sting me. I'm like. Somebody's gonna see moving. it. Uh, can you pull that in the bottom middle? Can you pull that little chunker off of there? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's an old queen cell. Just get that out of the way so we don't smash anything. Give it a twist. Chuck it right off there. There you go. Yeah. Cool. So that's cat brood and nectar again. Looks good, but it's back filled. So um, you just need to be aware of that. Again, today the main goal is to transfer them to new equipment. Any of our management decisions that can we can revisit another time. Come on, baby. There we go. Got that side popped. That side coming? There yep, that's cool. Oh yeah, it's rotted through. You can see where they actually propolized where it was rotten on the inside of the box. That's impressive. Oh, I can't get that one up. Uh, you can use leverage on this other frame on this side if you need to. 
Thank you. Well, okay, I understand. It's crazy too. As soon as we get everything back together, they'll all go in and they'll sleep us alone. They all just, they'll all go in and just leave us alone. But right now, it's just like a major renovation going on. <laughs> I just imagine a Karen being like, "What are you doing in my house? What is this? Uh, that is royal jelly. It's right here." Interesting. I don't know what smooshed, but... Actually, it's probably that uh, queen cell that you twisted off. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Now, that means that if there's royal jelly in it, though, that means that they may have already been prepared to swarm. Capped honey, nectar, bee bread. Um, I probably should have checked in it before you tore it off, but there's probably plenty more. Nectar, pollen, bee bread, capped honey. Probably enough to get this one in. This one was pretty smashed against the wall, so we should have plenty of room. All right, when we, we're done with this, we're gonna move that box over and we're gonna get them back over to that location. Sorry, baby. I got your wing. I think you got a couple other stingers, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like let's call it even that's all right that's the edge what of the what did you frame. say they're like let's call it even no that's part of the that's part of the frame. That's okay big deal uh, uh I got keep it. prying on that or can you lift on that one i got it oh wow i need to get some leverage 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 yeah so that's why i like that j tool because it pops the bottom i can't even lift oh there it is there got it yeah got it now Outside is typically honey. This is all resources. Cap honey. Nectar. So I'm guessing we think the queen's in the hand bottom? Yeah, if she's here. What do you mean? Uh, we saw that queen cell and it had a larvae in it. It wasn't capped. It means she's probably still here. But it may mean that she doesn't want to be here. Oh. So we got to be mindful of that. But if we find queen cells... Uh... Ch -ch 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 we could potentially do a split. Oh darn, it's not fitting. Can you use the tool and just kind of push on the frames or pull it back towards you or whatever you can do there? Oh, careful. There we go. That's the nice shot. I'm gonna best we're gonna get. Am I in? Yeah, okay, I'm in over here. It's just gonna be. Oh, it's propolis. It's okay. Ooh, I'm giving him honey. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna pry it. Girls. It's the propolis on the, the shoulders of the frames. I call these the shoulders. Where they're touching together, there's so much propolis. That's our gap is down to nothing. It's something that can be cleaned up on the next inspection. And they can only take so much. All right, girls. So let's just give them just a second. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to get them on their bottom board. All right. Let me see what we do. Oh, wow. And the propolis on there is already. Is it propolis? There wouldn't be propolis on this yet, would there? I don't think so. Oh, man. That's heavy. That's okay. It'll be inside their hive when we're done. All right, we need to move this over there. Um, I got this, so you get this one? I've only tried to see if I can get it all. Okay. I don't wanna, you're gonna be pressing against each other. Woo! I don't know if I'm that strong. <laughs> you got it? it? used to be much stronger. Okay, now. You got that? Get the front there. If you lift the front, we'll get the back. So the trick here is the uh, this one will still eventually have to be on the upper part. So I'm going to lift it again, but I just want to try to get them back in some sort of order so they can be calm. Yeah, that's probably my 
60, 70 pounds right there. You go close, you can tap them. Come on, girls. There's enough stuff between the frames, too. Feels like it's not gonna set down. Ah, I got one. Yeah. All right, girls. There's the hole. Do you want to take any pictures before we jump into the next thing? Kind of scared, but uh, I shouldn't get much more than that. Just we hope we find the queen. Back and lose their attention for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Part of it. I made a friend. Nice. Yep. Yeah, a lot of times they don't like care. <laughs> it's the ones that bump you in the face that are like, hey. 2016. Yeah. See the hole in the box there. Uh, yeah. You hear that, how the noise changes? Yeah. They're, it, it affects their pheromones, so they, they fan their wings to try to get the smell out. So can you explain to me the, the thing you said about um, washing your laundry separate? Oh, so sorry, we're... yeah. So if you're getting the stings in there and you start wearing it all the time around you, you could be getting micro doses of it and then you could become allergic because it's around you all the time. Gotcha. Um, some people rarely wash their stuff. Some people wash it at laundromats, but I just try to do it like if we're doing laundry on the weekend, mine will be the last load and then we don't do anything throughout the week. So we just kind of let everything dry out and air out. All right, this box should come off real easy. I would bet as long as we don't collapse the bottom one. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, that's yep. all. Looks gone. like I'm not getting the whole box. Can you pry that front corner there. Oh. Or actually, yeah, we'll just tear it off. It's toast anyways. All right, it looks kind of dark. Hope that's not coming this way. Wow, this one's gonna be the worst. Yeah, let's try to get the wood away so it doesn't get in anything that we're doing. All right, so are we moving the frames over? Yeah, we need another deep box, which is that one behind you. So we'll go ahead and pull those frames out. This is a very healthy hive, though. Excited. I always knew it was a great hive. And it's, you know, definitely reoccurred over and over again. It had no issues whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, they had drawn comb, so whatever the previous one had, they drew more. Whatever the previous had, they drew more. So it's a great scenario. These frames are not rotted. Yeah, go ahead and uh, we'll work the propolis. Work the propolis off the end of the frames, mm -hmm. and then we'll... Uh... Smoker's going nuclear. <laughs> That's smoke blowing in your face, let me know. I'll... Oh, it's okay. It'll choke you up real good, real fast if it is. So. I probably spent too much time around campfires when I was... Uh -huh. Mostly used to it. I see some original nuke frame frames in here. Uh, everything we've seen so far had a crown staple in it. Um, what is this? this has got nails. Oh. And the, out, the one on the very outside almost looks like it could be two. All right, girls. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is going to be the worst part for you, too. Actually, I don't know if we can move it at this point yet either. See, if we could move the other one to this location, <laughs> they'd calm down and go into the new hive. But we really need them to be in the bottom box, so we just need to keep I mean, on doing. So, like, I would say we could move this over and then put it over there, but we need that box, not that box, to be on the bottom. So let's just go ahead and transfer them. We'll do the same thing we did last time. Make sure we got all corners touching. These are cracked over here, so you should be able to pry up on these two. We can get those loose. These girls aren't going to get any. Aren't gonna get much calmer, so 
try to get through it. Oh, I had a concern about that. Okay, let's try this side. Uh, there are frame repairing nails that we can get. I don't have any on me. I haven't had the issue yet, but I just had a feeling this was going to be needed. Okay, the second one's coming up slowly. And easy. Can you get this off of uh, let's get them in the box and we'll do that. Last time I did that, my fingers and hands just got covered in honey and then I couldn't do anything. So we'll do that before we set the boxes. Kept <laughs> honey and nectar. Cat nectar. Sorry. Nectar. I'm sorry. Oh. Nectar, not cat nectar. Nectar and honey. So as soon as the nectar is dried down, then they cap it, then they call it honey. It's just a moisture content issue. And sometimes they don't even cap it. I broke the second one. Great. Or the third, I guess. So pretty. Yeah. And again, if you have a suit, the bees buzzing around you probably gives you a little more confidence in what you're doing. Because a lot of these girls don't care. It's the ones that are grabbing onto you and trying to put their butt in you or sting you. They care. The rest of them are just like, what is going on? What is this giant guy doing here? Yeah, no, I'm actually pretty, I'm feeling good now that I got that little bit of skin that I had like, exposed. Yeah. Covered. Good. Nectar, cat brood, and honey. And then got a ring over here of bee bread. But again, there's no queen in here. There's no sign of a queen. There's a few open cells and there's no eggs in there. I hope that we find something in the center that's a little more obvious so bee bread nectar and honey oh, that was fun. <clears throat> That's been great. great do we want to try to get this last one here before we go any further no, that's probably not a bad idea don't have much to pry on though if the box breaks, it just makes it no, easier I think to slide it out. That's the thing. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I'm certain this is the same. Wow, look at that. It's white in the middle. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, let me just get this one. I, I think I'm going to need a little bit more room. But we can probably get that one with a frame grip. Yeah. I'm we'll just trying to give it a, a good old-fashioned... You want me to give her a try? Yeah, if you want to. It's right over there. Um, it's right here. Nectar. Bee bread, cat brood, honey. Do I get open cells? They're, most of them are girls, so you gotta talk to them like a lady. Ladies? <laughs> Do you have a flashlight on your phone? If your hands are not completely covered and nasty. Well, okay. If they're nasty, don't worry about it. I was just saying, I got this at the moment. Oh, nice. Good job. Just set her in? Yep. You need to look at it? Yeah, set it in all the way to the side. It looks like it's open, so... I'm actually starting to see open cells, though, so... What I want to see is eggs in there, though, but it's so dark... It's hard to tell. I think that, uh... I don't think that there's one in there, though. Nectar, bee bread. That may be why they're back filling, because they don't have a queen. Oh, you're good. Take your time. I adjusted this when I. Uh, when yeah. I so that one. Ooh, much. girls. I just hate it when they touch my skin. It freaks me out a little bit. The. Uh, yeah. So there's a little piece of metal that goes over those corners when they break like that. So as long as we can keep that piece there. Mm -hmm. um, you can order those online. Um, they're like 50 cents a dollar a piece, but you have to buy a 10 pack. 
and then you, you just cheap. you just nail it on there. Or we can take that one out of rotation and put one of these foundation in there. So either way, it's just their vibrations that get you right now. It's like... I'm there too. I'm there too. See now, I see the inside paint of that one. Now I regret not painting the inside of the. The top. inside? What do you mean? Right down there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it don't matter. You can always swap it. It's a good amount of cat brood, nectar, pollen, honey. So, do they have a stinging pose? Yeah, yeah. They kind of tuck underneath. Um, I'll show you the next time I was trying to do it on my finger. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of like I'm tuck their butts underneath. Do it, and I'm seeing them also do it to the metal, so I'm not sure if yeah. they're actually. They may be trying, but if they if they, they don't sense that it's actual skin, they won't do it. That's why these gloves are kind of a weird miracle because you can use your fingers, but uh... ah, almost got me. Because it doesn't feel like skin to them, so they don't sting it. Do they use? pheromones for that too like they sense our smells and like, uh, they usually uh, sense the CO they sense the CO2 I think it's just a texture thing for them honestly uh, but when they sting their alarm pheromone is inside of that too so, so that's, it's like a tracking thing. yeah so the rest of them know where the predator is man I was excited about this thing now I'm a little nervous there's no queen in here Possibly, mister? Uh, this would be laid up. So this is actually open. You have that uh, camera? You know, your fingers yeah. are all messed up, aren't they? Let me let me walk over to the greenhouse, change gloves, and then I can get my phone. Okay. Shine it down on those cells. Is it on right now? Yep. Sorry, that's as bright as it gets. It's actually making it harder to see. I can't quite. No, you're good. It's just, it's so dim out here. Usually the sun does what it needs to do. Um, I feel like I see eggs now. Do you have, uh, can you take a picture and zoom in? I can do my best. I think, you got, I think there's eggs in here. Right. right in this space. Do you see like little white things in there in the bottom of those cells? There's like a tiny, tiny grain of rice maybe trying to tip over. I can't tell if it's a glare or if it's that, what you're describing. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I've got. It's hard to tell if it's glare or not because they do polish the cups. So some people have high power flashlights that they use. Not a bad idea. Yeah, sorry, I'm, this thing only so good. It's, it's years old. Oh no, you're good. It's just uh Yeah, I'm not getting anything. I can see that, but like I don't know. Um Oh, man. 
this tool back. Thank you. Maybe we'll see. So if that's the case, then she's hatched and laying. The other's another hive right, right over there, right? Yeah, that little that thing's a little tiny, tiny hive though. So look at all that beautiful pollen. That's a beautiful picture if your fingers aren't sticky yep. yet. Um, oh, that bee bread. So a lot of times you see it all yellow, but when you see multiple colors, it's different varieties. So you have more diversity in pollen and proteins. And that's just like a, a balanced diet. So people can make a lot of honey off of cotton and stuff, but if they're not getting a lot of other proteins, then... Sorry, these gloves are... You good. Struggles. Good. Is it an iPhone? No. Oh, gotcha. I say sometimes you can use the volume button on the iPhone to make it take a picture. I'm not sure if it's the same for Androids or not. Unfortunately, I'm good with some technology, but not that savvy. Gotcha. Gosh, I just need to shake my hand off real quick. What are you going to do? Okay. Here? Um, I probably said it in. I just, I really wanted to see eggs. I was hoping that I'd see him clearly on one of these other frames or find the queen. I mean, maybe it's rude, but can you shake them off and be like... You can, you can. Yeah. It'll make them even happier than they are now. Oh yeah, definitely, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if anything, it's on that frame. So I'm just gonna leave this one set up for now. Just don't see anything. They've got to have eggs. We're gonna have an issue. So it's, it is entirely possible for them not have eggs. Yes. If they swarm themselves to death, which means they took every queen that hatched and left, then if there's no queen. That, then. We won't be getting anything out of the hive. We gotta get a queen in here or at least some eggs so they can make some. Yes, we got eggs. Okay, cool. Can you get a good picture of them? It's one right there in the middle. She's just tipping over, so there's not a lot, but there's one. That means there's a Oh, sorry. Uh, that right there. That's okay, a little right. And that's one right there too, on end. So then they'll tip over, they'll fill it with royal jelly, and then They'll be like little maggots until they're this size. Oh, gosh, dang it. Let me get it. Uh, not what? Not yet. And then they'll get close to that. And then, let's well, see, those have purple eyes. So they've on capped those. Usually they'll get really close to that and then they'll cap them over. Then they'll do their thing. Let me grab another glove. Okay. If you want to, we can start setting those back in this green box. Uh, where does this one go? Uh, it goes, it's the next one after this one at that angle. So, so you can set that one down in. So going this way, one, two, three. One, uh, two, as as three. Correct. Yes, sir. Let me grab a glove. So we're good. We're good. It's okay. It happens. I know. I'm sure eventually I'll get over it. It, it. You may not. If you're a compassionate person, but yeah, we always do our best not to. It's just uh, you try so hard, and then the one just slides underneath where you don't want them to be, and it's like, oh crud. Yeah. You ever watch Star Wars? Yeah, of course. I just imagine it's like, this you just way. drop to your knees, you get as dramatic as Obi-Wan when he was talking to Scott, uh, Anakin at the end, <laughs> no. and it's just like, no, you're the chosen one. <laughs>
I just gotta do, try to make sure I don't take each one of these as personally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once I realized they lay a thousand a day. But this one doesn't have a lot, but if we saw somebody laying, then there's a chance there's a queen in there. Now, if you see multiple eggs in one cell, that could potentially be a laying worker, which means they've been without one for a long time, but. Sorry, girls, I know there's not much space to get back to. I thought this was broken wood, but it's just probably. Is that one coming loose? You got the. Cat brood over here too. It's good. So if it's cat brood, that means that she laid that egg, and it hatches out in 21 days. So a queen was in this hive within three weeks, but then we saw eggs. And they were starting to tip over. When they start to tip over, they're about three days old. And they turn into a larvae. So how likely is it that if I were to set up a blank hive next to these, that they would be like, all right, this is a good school spot? Um, it's possible. Anything's possible. My bees are swarming right now. They may be coming over here. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, when you pull one of these out and put like a foundation in here, let them build new comb, put that old comb in there. That's what they go to. They, it's the smell of the old hive. So when you're starting a new hive, do you need to start with like a... Uh, new comb, or you can just wax them like you did. We call that good enough. Uh, waxing is good, but they still have to draw that comb out. It's just waxing encourages them to draw that out. If you had that, just that plastic, they would have either left, or they would have not drawn it out, or they would have drawn it out in the way that you don't want them to. It would have been perpendicular. It would have just been sticking things together. Oh, gotcha. um, but that is actually really waxed they, really well. But is because they like do it in random spots? Yeah, so they'll go this direction. They'll just yeah. go where they want to, and then it's just like you can't get the frames apart, or so, you'll have other So issues. you're simply setting a foundation. You're telling them build up from all locations yes. instead of just one spot or yes. two spots. We wanted to build straight out like this instead of out at an angle. So. Nectar and bee bread. So you notice the girls are not as angry right now? Yeah. I would bet that we were close to the queen when they got really defensive. Okay. Um, sometimes they know more than we do, so. But see how these girls are really calmed down in this box? They're not freaking out, they're not flying at our faces. They got familiar smells in there and one of those smells may be the queen. Oh, that just feels so weird. Getting in there. Uh oh. You got it? Or? Yeah. And that's all backfilled, so. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, this one's gonna be tricky. Yep, good luck. You got the hard one. <laughs> My bad. You're good. Yeah, once you get there, you can try to rotate your frame towards you about 45 degrees. It should give you a little space, push the other frames over. Yeah, there's actually. Oh, this is a rotten box on here. Watch your fingers for a second. See that? That's rotten. Hey guys. Oh. There was a boy in there. I just see it. I saw one. Yeah, yeah that's rotten. Yeah, that's so rotten from the box. Well, I don't know if that's the box or that's the... It may have been from the box. Because the box is soft. You want to scrape this part then? See what happens? It seems pretty solid. Yeah, you're right. It could just be the top layer that's Yeah, bad. yeah, it's just propolis. Watch out, I'm gonna come up so I don't hit your finger. Yep. Ah, got me. Ah, I hate that. Come on, girls. There you go. I can smoke that. I react like violently when I get stung. <laughs> you were like, oh, they got me. I was like, ah, ah, what do you do? Why me? 
I've uh, I've been hurt by so many things, you know, working my cars. I I got some of my line for the fork. Oh my that. goodness. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but damn it. That's all right. I was gonna save that for. We'll find more. On our next episode. Yeah, we'll have to get some more uh, bee suits so that I guess you said it was a uh, whoever the other person was. Yes. I'm sorry. Thumbs up. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Just give them a good shake. They'll pop off. Yeah, it's. No, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> hey now. All right. No, uh, but yeah, no, I've, I've, I've been stung and hurt by so many different things. So it's, it's, I didn't expect to have a huge reaction. All right. So for now, we're gonna try to get them back to that spot. Okay. Um, um, we gotta get that bottom board. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I put them back on that bottom board. What was I thinking? Look at that beautiful moss under there. It's gorgeous. Is that nailed in or probably Propolized. Good? It's crazy. Yeah, go ahead and just pop that off. There you go. Oh, you can me. Yeah, anything you need to do, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, we don't even need the 4x4s four if you don't want them. We could always go back to the blocks. But... I mean, they're good, so I would like to keep them. Yeah. I like having it higher up. Seems like it makes it easier to work on it. These girls are figuring it out here. Alright, girls, I need that. Finger hole right there. That's heavy. That's heavy. Then I can lift in one go. All right. Let me know what you need me to do. Let's say if you want to get one side, I can get one side. Oh, it's so heavy though. But we got to get the bottom board out. That's yeah. the thing. So I'll lift this. And you you can just board. tip that straight up if you. Well, it'll slide off. Yeah, if you can get it. Good. I just can't flush higher this. Oh, well, that's that's not going to be the bottom one, so you can set that on its end, or or you can set it you can set it back where it was. It, it looks like there's a gap there, so we can pick it up. Uh, another one. Dang it, girls. We have to do that today. There's your stinging clothes. Oh, she just ripped it out. Hang on, let me show I get this out. Got it. Yeah, they're gonna be pissed. That probably didn't do. They're gonna be pissed at me. Look at you bonding with them. Going after me. Bonding with you. <laughs> now, I don't see how it is. All right, do you want to get that one or do you want me to get that one? I got it. Give me one second. I'm going to scoop all the dead bees off so I can give them a good So they were entering this way though, so I'm not sure if that fit that way. It won't. Can we widen it? Potentially. Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm good over here. Try to keep the. The inside doesn't have to be as wide. It's just the front needs to be able to hold it. Because oh. the weight will catch on oh, that corner. Yeah. We'll get right there. Yeah. We'll widen this one just as well. And then this will want to go that way. This is the front? Yep. Not that they know any difference, but... One, two... Damn, girls. Now you're upset. What? They're just upset now. That's good though. We're getting oh, no, sorry. Sorry. That's alright. We'll get revenge. All oh, 30,000 of us. Okay. Let's go ahead and scrape this foam real quick and toss it in the thing. Good. Hey, there's another drone. Look at that. I told you we found another one. This time I'm gonna sit inside where I can uh, yeah. lose it. It looks like it got cut anyway. Yeah. Okay. As much as you can get. Just start from that side and then just need to get this off and make it easier next time. Sorry girls. Hell of a day, I'm sure. I'm not sorry. Two of you stung me. You know what's interesting is they are gonna be confused because we did actually change the orientation of the box. You know, because the entrance was that way, mm -hmm. but the combs are going the other direction. They'll figure it out. They're smart and resilient. They, they, I mean, they went they years let us without in any uh, attention. Yep. Probably are going to be better off without our help. <laughs> well, once we get into mites and stuff like that. Oh, we got so does having you on the roof reduce that chance of getting mites? No. <clears throat> Potentially small high beetles, but not mites. I've heard stories that it reduces the chances of small high beetles, but because they have to pupate in the soil, but that doesn't mean they just can't fly up here anyways. Yeah. 
they may not know that it's up here. But at the same time, there's small high beetles in trees. The trees are pretty tall too, so. Last time I checked, anyways. Nice. All right, girls, just, just get off the frame for just a minute for us. Oh yeah, they're finding it though. They're starting to fan. So why is it so much darker? Uh, pupil cakes. So remember, as they pupate, they have a little cocoon. Mm -hmm. The more cocoons, the thicker this gets. That's why you want to rotate comb out too, um, because the, the openings get smaller and smaller and smaller. And that, that could be an issue. Bad Kevin. I mean, not Kevin, because you're a girl. My bad. So what do you do with all that? I don't know. What do you do with all that? That's the question. Well, I usually throw it in a solar wax melter. I mean, if you want to do that, go for it. Yeah. I have no way to, to deal with it right now, so yeah. I'm open to all ideas. Uh, what we could do, I would assume that we'll probably inspect in a week or so. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, I can leave that up here till then, let them rob out anything that's in it, and then we can take it at that point. Let's go ahead and get that box on here. This is the beef backstroke over there in the water. I do. <laughs> All right, here's the fun one. That's just as fun as that one. If you do that one, you can do this one. <laughs> yeah, gird your loins. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Get off the edges, girl. <clears throat> oh no, I stepped on a couple too. Glad I switched shoes though. Yeah. I saved one. Okay, a little bit more over this corner. There it is. Did I hit it? No, I hit Oh, who painted it? I was <laughs> just using it. And uh, this one, I guess? Um, that would be ideal, but I think we probably should put, um, get a medium and put medium frames in it, the foundation. So temporarily, um, we can set the lid on or the inner cover on this one, the old or the new inner cover. That's the two. We'll go down and get the mediums. Or do you want to do that? Bring them up here. I need 10 medium frames and another. Wait, you already have a medium box somewhere, didn't you? Didn't you bring one up? That was the uh, one. We need the other one. The other one's in the in a the carton there, so perfect. We just need the medium frames and the medium foundation or the other thing. This? Yeah, just set that on top to keep them calm for right now. Um, hopefully they'll go inside. I'm gonna shake these in front, let them walk in. Um, that is what that is. Once you get another one, we'll put an empty box here so they can start building more right, comb. So get the other box. Yep. Uh, and uh, we need the medium frames too, so you have to go down. Huh? We'll need the medium frames too. Okay. Ten of them, yes, sir. So they're all heading in, which is good. We're gonna get another super on here. Sometimes they won't want to build these though, because they won't want to move up. That's why people uh, don't use the excluder. So it could be a possibility of them not using the queen excluder. And then on the next inspection, if they're drawing this out, then you could put it in or you could Depends on how big of a honey honey is a priority to you as well. I mean, if they build this comb first, they may end up putting brood in it before they put uh, honey in it. But when that brood hatches out, they'll probably backfill it just like they did over there, and then they'll fill it with honey. So it's your decision, it's your choice. Uh, I'm gonna do I guess the traditional route first, and then I'm gonna experiment. Okay, perfect.
until I understand better what I'm actually doing. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good to push her down there. So if you can push her down there too, you hope that the other bees take all the nectar and put it up top, and then you can harvest it. So. But how does it affect the bee specifically? Uh, she is wider than the rest. So it's just only a mechanical yep. barrier. Yep. Yep. And she does not go out of the hive. So when you do put them on, you do want to put a, an upper entrance on there. Like, uh, usually there's a notch in a lid and you can use that. Uh, you can prop the lids up. There's stuff like that you can do. Um, and that allows the drones to get out because the drones also can't get through it. Gotcha. So, and this year I'm trying something that a lot of the commercial guys do around here anyways. Uh, old timers, I guess. I don't know if they're all commercial, but they slide the box just enough so that the bees can get off on the front. Since there's no rabbit in the back on the bottom, there's no opening on the bottom. It's just on the front. So if you don't have a notch, you can do that. Um, or we can prop the lid and I can show you different ways to do that. This is all fresh wax, so I would think they would come up here pretty quick. It wasn't that expensive to do this, this time consuming. It is usually easier just to buy it with a really nice wax on it. It's just usually about a dollar more. Yeah, but, so uh, I, I didn't have any help. So I didn't oh, no. A lot of what I did was like, I'm like, all right, we're going to go with the most cost effective way to do it. Yeah. So when I make mistakes, I can make as many as possible. There you go. Um, no, that's then, good. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad you jumped in because honestly, this would probably never gotten done if you hadn't. Well, that's what I'm here for. I had no idea what I was doing. I decided I was going to join the Beekeepers Association and hope for the best, but. Nice. Oh, wait, uh, Queen Excluder. Uh, it's behind you. That white thing mm -hmm. with all the frames neatly stacked on top of it. <laughs> My bad. No, you're good. Oh, and you were talking about swarms and stuff like that. The best swarm box would be this old one. Even though it's trash, other bees are going to smell it and they're going to want to come to it. So you could set that up with a few of these frames and foundations that we have. And then when they go in there, hopefully they'll do what they need to do. You just set this on top. Sorry. These are pretty light, so usually you can just tap it and they'll get out of the way. Um, okay. Except for that. Yeah. Um, all right, ready? Yep. So hopefully they'll build that out between now and next week. Man, this is going to be a fun to move because it's going to be so dang heavy. All right, and then we got this one on top, and then we're good to go. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm a... Uh... You're beekeeper, man. I'm excited. This is actually a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Got it. To, to you need to keep that together? Uh, well, just so that they don't go flap in your face. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm going to Yeah, not as heavy because it's a medium, but... So I run eight frames, which are just a little narrower equipment. Um, that's probably why I'm so weak. But ten frame is the more common size. But it is freaking heavy, obviously. Come back your way. Yep. This one. Great. All right. Sweet. You can take this off, shake it off, shake it into it, or I can do it. Okay. Let me do it. All right, go ahead. I'll watch. So, a lot of bees on it. Just want to get them into the box. And then here is your new cover. Look at how many bees are on there. Fantastic. A boat yeah, load. Sure. Set that on there, and you can just. Gently set it on there, and if it's not going down, you just lift it up again. There's a bee in there. Do that a few times, and they eventually are all out. Except for that one, it's not so smart one. Come on, girl. There we are. Yep. Now it's flat. It's a lot of bees. And a lot of them are on the front. So now they can get in and out. I wouldn't reduce this. With the amount of bees that are in here, I wouldn't put a reducer on it. That's what I was um, thinking. They're strong. They're real strong. I was under my understanding was that reducers are only for like really new hives or really new yes, hives. Yes, absolutely. Ready so with the lid on? Yes. Yeah. So when I mean prop it, um, so they can get out here. So if you prop it and put the front edge on here, that will prop it so that they can still come around the edges and go in and out and also dehydrate the honey. Like I actually move it all the way so it's flush with that. There you go. Usually it drops over that, oh, so they but can so they can go, yeah, they can go in and out here and also ventilate. But we either need to put a big rock on it or we can get that strap. Uh, um. <clears throat> there are some, these papers right here are probably heavy enough. These things. All right, let's do it. Let's one of those. Get it. Boom. There you go. 
But I can also use that as a spot to put sugar and stuff. We used to have a seashell for that. Oh, nice. It'd be like a little scoop. Uh, you probably don't need much sugar around here, honestly. Yeah. It's pretty... Pretty, well, uh, they, they do that in the winter. Uh, yeah, you can. You can. If you leave two deep boxes, they don't need it. Which is incredible. Because they can do it themselves. Look at that. That rock was propolis on there. I shook it and it stayed on there. That's awesome. <clears throat> Alright, I'm plugging the smoker to put it out. I don't think there's anything else to need that for. It will be a bear moving this hive. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, we were doing a box at a time. So the next inspection, we're just going to do it a box at a time. I don't think physically. There's little frame holders or hive lifts that you can get. But I was man, gonna say, if I got some of those uh, moving straps, you know, come out like the ones where you pull over your shoulders and there's two people and you do crisscross underneath and it like helps you get leverage on them. Could you potentially could do, do that. that. Potentially. So I would say this is probably 80, 160. It's probably 210 pounds. We could probably do that. Okay. It's a lot. It's a lot of weight. So if one of us trips, it's going to be fun. But we have to lift it, move off to the side, and then go. And hopefully the, the roof is not too soft in certain spots. Yeah. <laughs> or we could do a box at a time, kind of like what we did here. Um, I just don't know how they're going to orient to that. But So yeah, I would take this box and that box. We can go ahead and get, um, I got some foundation. We got these deeps. Just throw some foundation in there, and I bet you there's probably a good chance you'll get a swarm to move into that. Okay. Um, so, swarm box is just a box you're going to put people like the swarm in. Yep, yep. Usually they're about 40 liters, but with the smell of that, you'll probably be catching them in no time. And then, while that is out here, I would be working on the next boxes. And then when a swarm moves in, we'll just do the transfer again and go through that whole process. But. but but you never know with swarms. Swarms could be little tiny, tiny things, or they could be massive. Um, I was going to, do you want to set it up here? Where do you want the swarm trap? Mm, here's fine. We can just go ahead and set it there. So the bottom was still stuck to that. I shook those out as much as I could and just moved them away. Do we want to keep the bottom or no? Yeah, just keep it all because they have the smell. Um, that opens, is that still open? A little bit. Yeah. I see that's that open there too. So that would be a decent swarm box. You know, interestingly, if that was a squirrel that got in there, it only chewed in there. It didn't go in there because your foundations weren't chewed open. Oh, no, so. I found it dead. Oh, it, gotcha. Uh, it died in this pond. I think nice. it tried to get away from the bees. Ah. That's why I suspect it, like, it looks, uh, so I've had a lot of experience with squirrels eating things that I, you know, treasure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm used to seeing what they're done. And one day I found a uh, squirrel spread eagle in the water, and then I walked over and I saw that hole. I'm like, hmm. I wonder what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I saw this thing up here too. I was like, I wonder if that's the beginning of a hive stand. Because I mean, the 4x4s work. It's so rotted, I'll be worried. Yeah, yeah. But no, this is. We're still not out of pictures, so I can build yeah. like, uh, yeah. hive. Even if you get like a 4x8s. Yeah. If you got a 4x8 by, by 12, you just cut it in half and have enough for. Should you put these uh, frames in this? Uh, let's get everything away from this that we need to get away from this now. Um, I think we're good to let these girls do what they need to do. They look fine. They are bearding, but uh, everything's new to them. 